Hello, welcome. In this episode, we will see how to calculate normalized difference vegetation index. So, before we dive into our QGIS, let us see what is NDVI. So, simply, NDVI is a measure of vegetation amount and its condition. You can simply say vegetation health. So, in order to calculate NDVI, first you must be familiar with the band of the Lancet you're using. So, in this episode, we'll use Lancet 8. And here are the list of bands in Lancet 8. So, this is the formula of calculating NDVI. So, we take band number 5, which refers to the near infrared and subtract to band number 4 which is the red band and we divide by the sum of band number 5 and band number 4. After we have calculated the value of the NDVI, it varies from negative to 1. So negative 1 to 0 represent values of water bodies whereas Negative 0 0.1 to 0 0.1 represent uh, rocks, uh, snow, and sand. The NDVI value of 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 represent shrubs and grasslands. And the NDVI 0 0.6 to 1 represent dense vegetation or tropical rainforest. Besides NDVI, uh, which will be discussed in this uh, episode, there is other indexes. Um, to mention a few, there is NDWI, which is the normalized difference water index for uh, estimation of soil moisture, and uh, NDBI, which is normalized difference built up index for analysis of built up areas. So sometimes the classification methods can be uh, inaccurate depending on the user's preferences. So these uh, indexes have proven to be very useful as a replacement or uh, assistance to classification models. So now let us see how to calculate this in QGIS. So the first thing in order to Calculate NDVI, you must load your uh, Lancet bands. So I'll browse to the directory where I stored my Lancet 8 bands. So I'll load band number 4 and band number 5. So here in the rear panel, I have my band number 4 and band number 5. After that, the next step, go to raster and click raster calculator. So you will find the band number 4 and band number 5 already loaded there in the calculator. So here are the operations and in this space, it's where you will write the formula or the expression of NDVI. So go ahead and uh, use the bracket and then uh, double click uh, band number 5. Then followed by subtract and then a double click button number four. Then close this uh, expression. Then after that, uh, use the divide sign. Then open the bracket. After that, either ways will work. Either band five plus uh, band four or four plus five. So I'll use band five plus uh, band number four. Then I will close this bracket. So now here you have your expression of NDVI. Then the next step you will uh, select the output directory. So I will save it to the desktop as public NDVI. Then I will save. So here at the bottom you will see that my expression is valid. So I can go ahead and click OK. So the expression will be calculated. So it's done. So here I have my Eric and DVI and the values range from negative one to one. So I want to put a little bit symbology on this. 
so select single and here i'll use the greens okay it's okay too you can use any color ramp so i'll use uh, the greens then after that um, i'll click apply okay so here i have a list of uh, indexes or values and here you can see the image is classified uh, to the these indexes so i'll zoom in a little bit i know this place so it's dar es salaam city so here it's a city you can see the health of vegetation resembles as that of water bodies that means it's very low so to get the accurate measure of the location and its ndvi value uh, you can use this information tool here and uh, go ahead to a place and click you can see this value is 0 0.03 here the value is negative so uh, this is how you view the ndvi or calculate the ndvi of any location thank you and for more description on ndvi and other indexes you can get them in our in our website or uh, the link in the description below